welcome back to another episode of The Arden Show. Today, I'm going to be showing you my games on Scratch. Ooh, I don't know that bounces. Okay, so these are not my games. These are just some other games that are featured, made by other people. Alright, so let's go to my stuff. I'm going to show you Pong. This took a while to make. So it plays no music, but I'm still working on that. And as you can see over here, it's kind of similar to Pong. And if you don't catch it, then the then it stops and it resets your score afterwards. And it takes a while to load back up. So pretty cool, huh? Leave it in the comments down below if you think I did a good job. And you had to code this game because this is the ball's code. It's um you know this orange ball says one flag clicked which is this thing this is what makes it go set score to zero and forever if touching paddle which is this thing change score by one which it's the green thing that's the paddle and one green flag clicked still point in direction 45 and forever move 10 steps which is like 10 steps 10 steps 10 steps and if on edge bounce you see without without the if on edge bounce it wouldn't the ball would just kind of disappear and then the paddles code is just for i mean one flag clicked forever set x to mouse x and that's just the simple code for the paddle and the line is and the lines code over here, that red line, is this. Pretty simple. And then I click shared share over here. And then you have to hit save every once in a while so it will save. And names animated. I actually made this one today. And I made that Pong game today too. See, so watch this. <laughs> it's actually pretty loud, but that's um, what happens when you press the R, and the A changes colors, and the D, and the E, flop, oof, and the N plays music. So the D is kind of stuck like that, um, yeah. And Poo Simulator is one of the funny ones. When you press the space bar, he poops. He's in a basketball court. And the instructions are press space to make him poop. Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> and the code is simple. It's just one space key press. Switch costume to costume two. Wait one second and switch costume to costume one. It's pretty hard to draw on the computer. So, see, this is costume one and costume two. So, don't judge me. Oops. And then, when this click, switch costume to costume one. And then, this one over here is kind of cool. Play with Nano Interactive. It's an interactive game where. Well, you talk to Nano and play with Nano. It's funny. Just enter your name. And you can be friends with him. It was kind of hard to make him do all this. And then you have to press A to follow his instructions. Look at him. Wasn't that awesome? No, that was not awesome, little dude. Whoa! Did you do that? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't change the background just now. Bye! So the code is, like, really complicated. This is one of my most complicated ones. And uh, look at all this. I, I can't even explain this. Look at this. And one space key press, switch backdrop to that, which is... A picture we took one time and you have to scroll out a bunch of times just to see all the code 
Alright, anyways, I'm going to show you Fallen Stars. This game is pretty cool. You have to press the giant S to start, collect the stars, and to play again, press, press, press the space bar. Alright, press the S. It'll say loading. And here's the game. Welcome to the Arctic. <laughs> As you can see, you can answer questions too in this one. You just have to pretty much collect the stars and help the balloon out. See, and that's the game. Let's hit see inside. And this is the start thing. Costume two is actually the loading screen. Oops, let me switch it back. And then when that click hide variable star score and this is balloon one's code over here and this one it has to well it's pretty complicated to explain so I can't explain it I made no changes so you don't so I don't have to save it and he needs some milk this was based off of a meme on YouTube. Just look it up and you'll find it eventually. Watch this. He needs some milk. And he gets mad. And then the code is like pretty much nothing. It's just all of this. And over here, I am Jelly. This one's kind of cute. Hello. I am Jelly. Also, my name is Jelly. I was made from a kitchen and ingredients. Goodbye. And this is another talking one, except when I made this, I didn't know how to like question people over here, like ask what's your name and wait. I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to do that yet. So I just hit like say hello for two seconds. I am Jelly and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, this one's fun. Evil Ball Run. Hit start. If the start bu button doesn't work, then press the arrow next to the start button because it's bigger. You press A to start up the game. And then you have to run from the evil ball. See how he turns red? And then I should make him go faster. Let's let's do that. Ha ha loser. He says ha ha loser if you well, if you touch him because it's evil ball run, remember? See this is the balls code over here. It was pretty complicated to make, but I made it. And Hannah No, she's not complicated at all. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Anyways, so Dancing Derp is a funny one. Music is kind of loud, and it's pretty cool, though. Yeah, this is Dancing Derp. It's one flag clicked forever switch costume to costume one wait 0 0.5 seconds switch costume to costume two wait 0 0.5 seconds costume three wait 0 0.5 seconds to restart if you didn't if you got rid of the wait 0 0.5 sec 0 0.5 seconds on the bottom it would look like this see see how it's kind of like glitching that's why i need to add this over here and when this clicked forever play sound dance around until done the forever block makes it so it can't stop because it um the music dance around can't stop and it just like plays in a loop if you just did that then that's what would happen the music will stop eventually eventually <laughs> See how it stopped? And that's why you need the forever block. So it will keep playing it. Okay, so that's Dancing Derp. And 
I made one called, let's see, Color Ball Party. This one's really fun. You just have to move it around like really slowly and it's pretty satisfying to see what happens. Just watch and learn. If you just move it around all crazy, that's what would happen. And it's so satisfying. So the stamp blocks are really rare. You need to go to pen, which you can't usually find. And then um, it will go to the ball will go to mouse pointer. And then set color effect to zero, change it by two, stamp, wait 0 0.2 seconds. And yeah, that's, that's color ball party. And then I made a similar one of the Play With Nano Interactive to Talk to Pico. Except I made Talk to Pico first. Hi, I'm Pico. What's your name? Let's put, yeah, let's put Artem again. Cool name. Do you like Pokemon? Nah, I don't really like Pokemon too much. We have a lot in common. What's your favorite color? Blue. Mine too. Isn't he cute? Do you like to eat? Oh uh, yeah, I actually do like to eat. Well, that's one thing we don't have in common. And then over here he says, do you like my hat? Yeah, I actually do like his hat, but then he says, it's okay to tell the truth. Bye. <laughs> and he only has, comment if you want more. He only has like, only one line of code except it's pretty long as you can see and then let's see crazy balls this one's funny it's similar to color ball party except it's crazy balls you have to press the space bar see then the balls just go all over the place <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's that's how you that's how you play it. And then you could you can have people comment and you can turn it on and off. Like sorry, commenting posting has been turned off for this project. And you can add it to studios like as if movies, like I like trains, unnoticed project, add your most popular projects, and welcome to scratch and non popular projects, you can add it to tons of studios. I actually need to add this to my two studios. My studios, oh my gosh, that's not my studios. Okay, mine, my new one is called Cool Games. Okay. So then we have, let's see, what's a fun one we can do? Oh yeah, there's Runaway Toad. This one is kind of weird. You just kind of collect gems and run away from the wizard. Oh my gosh. Oof. And so you're the wizard's toad that ran away and he's trying to catch you. You must collect the diamonds to make a spell to make him disappear. He is using magic to float and catch you. And yes, the wizard is supposed to be floating upside down and sideways. He failed floating class. So that's runaway toad. Pretty creative, huh? Then there's the Hatchling story. Hatchling story. This is pretty cute. Once upon a time. So that's the story. The Hatchling story. And two people saw it. Only two people saw it. So anyways, that's all I'm going to show you for now for my games, except I want to show you this one. It's Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer. This is kind of fun. I've watched it before. This was actually coded by somebody for the new game Pokemon Sword and Shield. I made a trailer. Put the music English. Ooh. Dun dun dun. 
Okay, yeah, I just realized it's kind of boring. But this one, Mario Cube, is kind of fun but hard. And it's hard to make games like this called Mario Cube. Like that. Alright, level one. Play level. Hey! <laughs> you use the up and down arrow arrows. Like that. Oof. And it's hard to pass th this level, kind of, because of this. How do I like? Oh, I get it. Yeah, okay. Oops. So this is kind of a hard game. Because all you're doing is like, oh, now I get it. You can go, wait, no, you can't go over it, can you? Oh, yes, you can. This is Mario Cube, by the way. Oof. And it restarts you every time. And let's see inside. Hold on, let's stop the music first. This is Visualizer. I don't know how to make this. This code is really complicated. This is how much code he had to put in here. Look at all this. And then objects. All of this code. This guy's this guy's kind of smart. And then this, this is all. This is all. All right, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to show you Epic Rose, Give Me My Bread Back, Chase the Balls, Little Dog, and Animation, Stick Drummer, Birthday Party, Cheese Chase, and much more. Bye.